Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Adding images to your app is important for enhancing the user experience and making your application more visually engaging. In this video, you will learn how to add an image to your Angular 18 app. Here you can see, on the right side, I have opened an Angular 17 app, and on the left side, I have opened an Angular 18 app in VS Code. In Angular 17, you can see the assets directory inside the SRC folder, where we use to keep static files such as images and translations. However, in Angular 18, the assets folder is removed. Instead, there is a new public directory in the root folder. Here is the app.component.html file. For styling, I have used Bootstrap, though it's not necessary. There's a bootstrap card with an image, title, and a small description inside a column, which is part of a row inside a container. Inside the index.html file, I have added the class bgdark for dark mode. Here is the app.component.ts file which is currently empty. Now, to display the image, we need to add the image inside the public directory. Open the folder where you have stored the image and copy it into the public directory. Here is the image which we have copied in the public directory. Open app.component.html file and add the image path to the img tag. Remove the existing image URL and replace it with the image name and extension for example, cat.jpg. Now, go to your browser and you will see that the existing image has been replaced with the newly added image. Instead of adding the image directly to the public directory, let's create an images folder inside the public directory and place the image inside it. Right-click on the public directory, create a folder named images, and place the image in this folder. Now, open the app.component.html file and change the image path to images slash cat.jpg. Go to your browser, and you will see that the image is still displaying. Now, to display the image dynamically, let's store the image path in a property called image path. Copy the image path. Open app.component.ts file and create image path property of type string and assign the image path to it. Copy this property. Open app.component.html file. Now, add square brackets to the src attribute for property binding, and replace images slash cat.jpg with the image path property to bind it dynamically. This will display the image based on the value of image path. Go to your browser and you will see that the image is still displaying as before. Now, let's see how to add custom height and width using the ng style directive. Now, add ng style inside square brackets, then use the equal sign to bind the styles. In the double quotes, write width.px in single quotes and assign it the value 397, followed by height.px in single quotes and assign it the value 200. The .px suffix tells Angular to apply the values in pixels. Here, you can see the error, can't bind to ng style since it isn't a known property of img. To fix this, open the app.component.ts file and add common module in the imports array and import it. You can see the error has been resolved. Go to your browser, and you will see that the height of the image has been changed to 200 pixels. Now, instead of directly specifying the styles in the ng style directive, let's create two properties, image width and image height. Open app.component.ts file. Create a property named image width of type number and assign it the value 397. Now create a second property named image height of type number and assign it the value 200. Open the app.component.html file and replace the width 397 with the image width property, and the height 200 with the image height property. Go to your browser, and you will see that the image is still displaying the same as before. 
Now, let's assign the values in pixels directly to the properties. Open app.component.ts file. Replace the type number with string, and change 397 to 397 px with double quotes in the image width property. In the image height property, replace 200 with 200 px also in double quotes. Open app.component.html file and remove .px suffix from the ng style directive. Go to your browser, and you will see that the image is still displaying the same as before. In this video, we explored how to dynamically load images in Angular and utilize the ng style directive to set custom styles. We learned to bind properties for image height and width, allowing for dynamic styling based on component variables. This approach enhanced our ability to control the appearance of images in response to user interactions. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.